Greetings Shiftlings, Fayot here and today we're going to talk about the newest feature added to the game with update 1.17 that is the Stone of Penance the DLC is not out yet but the update launched today so we're going to take a quick look at it in order for you to be ready to go into the DLC and reap the rewards as easily as possible so the best way to utilize this is doing it from the map so you do not have to visit shrines and switch up your gear mid-mission go to starting point, go to shrine and go to stone of penance that was the previously empty slot here in your interface so you will have four choices here and if you've never used it three of them will be blacked out you wanna go to the first one, to the starting one and click on receive stone what this does is it takes you into your accessory slots here your stash of accessories and you can pick whichever one you want let's say for example we take this writing set and then it allows you to choose a difficulty before the DLC it is dream of the demon or dream of the strong what you have to do is pick the difficulty that you will be playing on so if you're a veteran you will want to finalize your missions on dream of the demon the darkness in the capital mission so you can move on to dream of the wise if you're a newer player go to dream of the strong so it's dream of the demon and what you have to do now is receive the stone of penance by activating this and you will lose this accessory temporarily it will be gone from your inventory and a bar will appear in your mission afterwards whilst playing on dream of the demon and it will start filling up as you're killing and fighting enemies all enemies in set configuration of missions will be stronger with more hp and improved stats so the idea is you activate the stone of penance you lose an accessory that will be upgraded once you are done with the upgrade process that is filling up the bar and as the game explains i'm going to take us into the menu with the explanation you can see it here as it explains when playing at a difficulty that is set to the stone's difficulty level or higher defeating enemies will increase the stone's penitence at a rate proportionate to the Amrita gained from each enemy so by extracting Amrita with the extraction talisman by killing them in order to get their Amrita drops you are improving your completion of the stone in question also it states on the first paragraph the health and attack power of enemies will increase but so too will the chances of them dropping equipment with a rarity of divine or greater so this will diminish your chances of getting yellows blues or purples and it will increase your chances of getting divines or ethereals the new rarity that we supposed will be added to the game today based on neos one progression so to complete this process and clarify everything we go in here as i said put in the accessory choose a setting and receive a stone of penance now in case you're worried whether or not you will be using an accessory with let's say a star rating as you can see here my saturated enemy rating i can tell you from prior experience that nothing changes the role is exactly the same and your chances are for you to get a better plus sign next to the items level so you might be getting a writing set that's plus 16 for example receive stone of penance and as you can see here i can click on the return stone if i click this it says that I cannot retrieve my accessory but I will get the stone back and if I get I will give the stone back and if I get a next, uh, another stone next time I will keep going from the point that I had left it specifically it states whilst you will not recover your surrendered accuracy your stone's penitence level will be saved should you receive a new stone of penance at a later time you may resume your progress from the current state so you don't actually gain anything 
except for the progress done already. So we do not want to be taking the accessory out or the stone or giving the stone back before we are done. What you want is to max out set bar until the resting rights slot is active. So after you fill your bar, you go here and you perform a resting rights. I will be demonstrating in a couple of minutes. So what we want to keep from here, the info we want to keep is we do not use the return stone because we will not be getting back our accessory. We want to wait until we have the resting rights command available. So as you can see here above my bow is my penitence gauge. As I defeat the boss here, it will fill up by absorbing its Amrita. Once you have it filled, you will go to the shrine and you get two additional choices. You can perform resting rites or you can increase the pain. You can increase the pain to go another round after you have maxed your initial gauge on a higher difficulty setting like Way of the Wise or by performing resting rites you gain back your accessory. My 170 plus 14 writing set will be returned to me as a 170 plus 15. Of course you have the choice to go back at it with a fresh gauge and that's how you can upgrade the plus value of your accessories. I will be covering everything in darkness in the capital as I did with previous DLC in the vanilla game. So sub, like and share for more. Until next time, be well, stay frosty and always strive for perfection. Cheers.